Just as the Earth orbits the Sun, the Moon orbits Earth. It takes roughly 27 days for the Moon to complete its path around our planet. Right now, you might not be able to see the Moon very well. That's because it's transitioning from a new Moon, when the side of the Moon that faces Earth is in shadow. This phase occurs when the Sun, Moon, and Earth align in that order. Over the next two weeks, the Moon will orbit to the other side of the Earth. That's when we'll see the full Moon. Because the Moon's orbit is tilted, it doesn't often pass through the Earth's shadow, creating a lunar eclipse. This can only happen when Earth is at a specific point in its orbit around the Sun. The same goes for a solar eclipse. Speaking of the Moon's orbit, as you've heard us say before, when it's closest to our planet, it's called the perigee, also known as a supermoon. It may appear bigger and brighter than a normal full moon. Our next full moon will in fact be a supermoon on March 9th. It will also be called the worm moon, the name given to the full moon for the month of March. That's because this is the time of the year the ground begins to soften and earthworms reappear. To learn more about what's going on in the night sky any time of year, visit our Skywitness 7 page on WHIO.com.